Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Epion Royal Z. I'm your host, Majin Beezy, back again, and I want to talk about hats today. Don't like anything. Don't subscribe to nothing. Go unsubscribe to something and then come back. Don't click my links. Definitely don't ring my bell. Sit back, give me three minutes and 13 seconds of your time, and I'm going to tell you about the three top dad hats, in my opinion, for 2021. The first hat on this list, the Port & Company, six panel, unstructured, twill cap and the code for that is c914 this is the only hat that i actually have a physical kind of example to show you and that's with good reason this is one of my favorite hats to make for my brand they're very high quality this is a classic silhouette just look at it these things are timeless your pappy has one your mammy has one and your nephew has one the port and company six panel unstructured twill cap is pretty cost effective prices vary i'll find a good price for you i'll put those links in the description also, with it being such a classic hat, it just has a broad market. Everybody needs a hat to keep the sun out of their eyes. A lot of people don't want to have a hat that's like too much structure like this hat because some people do get headaches. With a hat like this, it's basically just material lining in front of the bill and then that's it. These are very easy to embroider. They hold up to the test of time and that's why I put this first on my list. Let's get to the next one. District Thick Stitch Cap. Now this cap is good for workwear. Workwear is differentiated from normal wear by the materials that it's made out of. Now, if this hat was a workwear hat, it would probably be twice the thickness. Even if it was advertised as being unstructured, the material itself will be twice as thick. Easy to embroider, you can wash them, you can beat them up, give them to your employees, and they are very, very inexpensive. Workwear, even though oftentimes constructed a little nicer quality with more heavy duty materials than typical t-shirts and hats and whatnot, despite being made from sometimes better or thicker materials. So if you are just starting out and you need a bunch of hats and you don't want them to start falling apart on your customers, always go to the workwear section. A lot of the websites will word it differently, but this is why this hat's amazing. It's basically bulletproof and it's dirt cheap. I'll have the link in the description with the best option that I can find. Last but not least, you gotta have a new era hat in the mix. New era adjustable unstructured cap. It's very similar to this. It has a metal clasp like this, but it has that new era tape those hats also have a new era logo on the side. Why is that beneficial? If you are advertising that you are an upscale clothing company, they constantly source product from other companies and put their logos on it. There are companies out there, they're using champion shorts, but then they're embellishing them however they want. And when you have that brand recognition, they will assume you have your act together. So if you are advertising as an upscale brand, you can sell for those prices and people won't think twice because they're familiar with that company. And when people see that new era logo next to your logo, it still instills that buyer's confidence in them. They're confident to support it because they at least know new era made the hat well enough to hold up to the test of time, even if they have no idea who you are. Whereas if you had a blank hat with no other branding on it, they're going to have to have some type of faith that you instill in them, that confidence that you give into them before they'll even make that purchase. Whereas that new era logo kind of cuts the middleman out and takes a little bit of that workload off of you and that's it gave you three examples medium price hat a very cheap hat and a pretty pricey hat i'll have the links for all three in the description now i gotta go